other him is number 114114 of the missile today's missile 114 lord who throughout these 40 days for us did fast and pray teach us with you to mourn our sins and close by you to stay as you with satan did contend and did the victory win o give us strength in you to fight in you to conquer sin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace and peace of god our father the love of jesus christ and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all good morning dear friends the intention of this mass is for Mickey Colella. We begin our Eucharist placing ourselves in the presence of God and remember that God's forgiveness and mercy are much more powerful than our sinfulness. Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O oh Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know. Let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew, that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, 
is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings and holocausts. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Together. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings on this Saturday of the third week of Lent remind us that the Lenten observances that we have embraced, they are a means to create better dispositions in our mind and heart so that we will remain open to God who comes to us through people in our life. So Colleen shared with us in the first reading how Prophet Hosea was able to see the relationship between God and the Hebrew nation as an example of his own relationship with his wife, unfaithfulness, lack of openness. At the same time, the ritualistic observances went on. It, they went forward. It did not change the heart. The first reading states very clearly that our London journey is to create a favorable heart in us for God and God's people. In the Gospel, through the parable of the tax collector and the Pharisee who went to the temple to pray. 
Jesus reminds us that it is not the position, the seat that we take in the church that is important in the eyes of God, but our dispositions of mind and heart, a humble heart, a contrite spirit, they win favor with God. Also, we know in our, our own interpersonal relationships, it's a delight to work with people who are humble, people who are open-minded, whereas it's a challenge to work with people who are so full of themselves, who think that they are better than everyone else. In the eyes of God, we all are in need of forgiveness from God, from the people in our life, our spouse, our children, our parents, grandparents, people at work, people in the neighborhood. May we foster a humble heart, a contrite spirit through our London observances that we have observed, embraced. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of us. O God, by those by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with the minds made pure, grant we pray that in reverently handling, the, handling them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ. Through the bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Pour forth the power of your spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before his hands were outstretched between heaven and earth, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. Grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted among the members of your Son. Perfect us together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort to those who labor and are burdened. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. Grant also to us that we may come to an eternal dwelling place in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints. There we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distrust as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. One forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Da das Prell. <coughs> May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Well, thanks be to God. Yeah. You know, the Mass today, uh, Mickey Colella, uh, his family, his daughter, and his family asked uh, that we all join them as they wish happy birthday for him in heaven. So. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore, grant we beseech you that filled with like humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray.
You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. Hail, Holy Queen and Lord.